Bryson and the victim have a child together, and now the family is just wanting to know why she would kill the father. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy joins us live in the newsroom tonight with more on what the family is saying. So this victim's family packed that small courtroom and the suspect named individual family members of the victim pleading for their forgiveness. Now that family says they are struggling to grasp how and why this happened, but they are also having to stay strong for the children that both the victim and the suspect leave behind. Now because of the seriousness of the murder charges outside of my jurisdiction, I, I cannot set you a bond. The judge pauses as the family says, Thank you. Thank you. David Eden's family held each other up at the bond hearing for Eden's ex-girlfriend, Kadisha Bryson, who was accused of breaking out these windows at a Motel 6 in Greenville Tuesday night before firing a weapon that killed him. A father of three children, including a baby girl that he and Bryson had together. Eden's cousin says they accepted her. Yes, ma'am, you have accepted her as family. I mean, you have a child by himself as family. We'll look at you no different. Well, it, we would never thought that you would be the one to take his life. But she can't accept the apology. I didn't receive it at all. And she apologized, but at the same time, you had time to think. You weren't looking for him. They are focused on being there for the kids he leaves behind. Uh, you know, it's all about the kids right now. You know, they, they, he gone, he pretty much gone now. So, you know, it is what it is. As long as the kids are taken care of, it's all I was concerned about right now. Every moment is tough. It was tough for us for them to come down here. But we as family, we're going to stick together and pull it through because we're a strong family. And because that bond was denied, we will have to wait for a circuit court judge to decide her fate. And until that next court date, Bryson will remain in jail. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amber Worthy for Fox Carolina News Tonight.